welcome cancer uh what we're going to do is we're going to look at what is going on for you over the next two weeks okay and help you along this journey so we're using the sacred forest oracle and the osho zen tarot for clarification okay cancer i'm Juanita. um i was going to change up the um clarification cards this week but Honestly, I have such a connection with the um, Osho Zen that I, yeah, I'm just like, I just have to, you know, go with it. <laughs> because the, what's important is the messages that come through for you. So let's have a look. First up, Cancer, we have Secret Spring Success. Okay. Mm. You could be birthing a new project, something new. something new here cancer getting ready maybe to take a journey for some of you um but i feel as though there's something magical about whatever is going on it's it's like cancer some of you are Okay, so some of you might be looking at what it is that you want to do right now, and you might be trying different things out, okay? Um, because you're trying to create success for you, and with just with this being secret, um, you're kind of doing it just privately so that no one else really knows until you're actually sure what it is that you want to do. understanding it's like you want to step out of the cage but you don't want anyone to watch or see you maybe maybe this is very interesting see usually I get from this card sorry I've got this other card here, which is integration. But usually I get from this card that this is about keeping yourself caged in and not allowing yourself to fly with the flock. Maybe you want to branch out and do something differently from what everyone is doing. You're just biding your time until you decide which direction you want to fly potentially um integration new cycle there's a new cycle but there really is the sense of um just staying still and you know what cancer that could actually be what you need to do is just take a moment to just still yourself and uh, before you take off. Um, it's kind of like, it, it, it's almost as though, um, you know, a little bit like when you go on a holiday, right? If you're driving and you actually, um, <sighs> you know, you need to check you've got enough petrol, you check the water, you check the oil, um, you make sure that everything's in order so that you can have a safe trip, right? Um, yeah, so I feel as though maybe that's what needs to happen or that's what you're doing, but let's have a look. Flexibility. Okay, being flexible to know feel like I'm also getting the word transparency but for some of you you may just want to keep it to yourself for now um, because it's kind of like this one uh, like just rising above the pond here kind of thing like okay let me see if this works mm, it's not quite it though there's more to the story, Cancer. Flexibility. This Cancer could very well be that whatever it is that you're, you're planning 
or working towards is this there's this need to kind of make sure that you can um bend with the wind type of thing whatever the way the wind blows that you can actually bend with the wind rather than being um oh i'm getting the word stubborn and standing up against the wind and not allowing yourself to to bend because it feels like if you do that you something will break does that make sense um yeah yeah, but I, I don't know if I explained that properly. Because I'm just seeing this tree in the background here standing really, really strong. But there's this need to be able to blow with the wind. And, and the wind is whatever changes occur, whatever comes your way. The ability to adjust and, um, and you know, be... Um, bendable <laughs> to bend with that's not even the right way of putting it no but I mean a flexibility obviously to have that flexibility yeah um okay so what have we got here creativity be creative yeah um you see how everything is blending in here this is perfect Nothing is, everything's its own creation, but nothing is um, such that it couldn't blend in with everything else, like it just flows beautifully, and I feel like that is the advice for you. Okay, slowing down, we have here, uh, I feel like cancer, it, it's kind of like once you find that thing that you want to go forth with, just make sure that you are taking your time to check everything out. Okay, again, going back to this going on holiday analogy, you want to get to your destination, but you're best not to go over the speed limit so that you get there safely. Okay, and I feel like this is the same thing here, is that the journey is part of is part of the trip to be enjoyed, if you like. Breakthrough. I feel like this is relating to this. Maybe this is about the flexibility and having, you know, being flexible um, and breaking through these, these bars here. This could be something that is a um, bit of a mental process for you um, of being in that cage and not feeling like you can fly because mentally you believe the bars are still there and you wouldn't be able to do it so this might be actually breaking through those cancer okay this is very interesting and and I feel like cancer because there's something maybe that you're working on privately that it's like the energy is like slowly coming in, but very subtly in a sense. Uh, yeah. So wise woman of the grove, Grace. Oh, I love this. I really love this. Um, and I'm drawn to this shining gem here in this box that's been opened. So something is definitely being birthed here. And um and because it's in the forest, I feel like this is the beginning of its growth. And it's almost as though it's just finding the right place to put it so that it grows. So that everything that it needs it, to grow, uh, it has everything, right? And, and maybe this is the thing of the slowing down, is making sure everything's in check before you plant the seed, um, because the seed needs sunlight, it needs enough water, it needs nutrients and minerals and, you know, all sorts of things to grow into, you know, this these trees here. Even though this is a gem, it's like what you're planting is very unique and it's as though you're planting it in a 
an environment which it normally wouldn't be planted, if that makes sense. Um, which I'm sure, hopefully, it does to you. I mean, I don't really understand it, but yeah. Um, but I do feel like this is a matter of you to call on any um, any guidance, any spirit, um, ancestors to come and support you with this and look over this project, whatever is being created here, Cancer. Okay, and, and really tap into that um, intuition and that connection so that you can be clear in which direction you need to go to uh, towards maybe not which direction but how you actually need to execute these this um this creation this is so interesting <laughs> it's like a little mystery <laughs> intensity yeah I can feel the intensity it's very intense but it's exciting and when I place this down it's heading to right towards this breakthrough okay so maybe this is the thing cancer is that in order to have this breakthrough happen because I feel like you've almost hit the nail on the head and you're just like trying to fine tune things or trying to tweak things because it's like you can feel it yourself right a bit like I've been doing in this reading oh I'm not quite getting there and um, so maybe this is your energy of like I feel like there's just something that I'm not putting my finger on and this may be what um you need to do call on this grace call you know really tap into that so that that comes through a lot clearer for you okay yeah Yeah, not rushing into anything thinking, oh, well, um, that'll be fine. Just slowing down the intensity of the excitement um, because there's just certain things that um, need to be put in place or brought into play in order to make this the most successful that it could be interesting um it says guilt <sighs> some of you may be um you know if you're branching out from what everyone else is doing you may feel bad about that if you're stepping away from the norm um you may feel bad about that for some of you um getting up in your head about it isn't going to help the growth and the blooming that can happen from this project okay this is it's kind of like this here and this here go hand in hand because it's like this self-imposed cage like what i was saying before about feeling like the um the bars are still there they're not there so you can proceed forward but whatever is holding you back may very well be your mind um, for some of you, there might be this doubt inside of you that you, you know, you won't be able to achieve it, maybe, oh, sorry, I've got this <laughs> card here, and I'm about to just go ahead, um, generosity, maple spirit, generosity, see, I get this sweetness about this, okay, so I just wonder with this um, cancer is that when when you start to grow things to try and drop this defensiveness because I said well or this um, you know this secrecy I suppose um, to share your success I feel like some of you are afraid to do that maybe um, it could be that you have been taken advantage of before and you want to keep it to yourself maybe or someone's taken your ideas and use them as their own um but it's almost like once it's put in place you can then become generous with sharing that okay and that's going to actually help um yeah see look look let me just show you this is going to help this forest to grow because this is the seed of this maple Oh, maple tree right 
and, and look at it, it's red, and this is red, right? Like, this is, this is you planting the seed, and this is what you can actually achieve. And, um, and sharing that is going to raise your vibration. This is going to help you do more of this, okay? Sharing the load, yeah? Because look at this. This person's trying to juggle everything on their own. And this little monkey here is up to this monkey business ready to pop this bubble that this one's on, okay? And, um, and I feel like this is something that you can easily avoid if you just get people that you trust in to help you, okay? We have schizophrenia as the next thing. You're in two minds about that, okay? Um, and, and this is about hanging in the balance as to, you know, it could be you're wondering how you're going to actually execute this, okay? And there's a strong feeling of vulnerability here and a really strong feeling that if you let go of um, of holding on to everything and keeping it um, tucked away in a sense or, or protecting it you're going to fall but I do not I, I don't feel that will happen for you cancer I feel like this is something that is um, you know that you can it's like you need to trust the process um, and in turn you need to trust yourself Okay, and maybe that's the biggest thing right now is that you don't trust yourself to have the ability to succeed. The other thing I want to say with that cancer is you could be having a bit of fear about success. Okay, fear about failure and fear about success. It's possible to have both. Okay, um, moonlight enchantment, magic. Hmm, very interesting. I feel like this is connecting in asking for help again um but you know again with these spirit guides um and interesting that this is night time and this is night time um this could be a, a, something about a cycle um, because we've got, yeah, this is like, the yeah, I'm not sure, but I just want to show you, um, that this here is the new moon, right, the beginning, and this here is a full moon, so it's like this cycle, there's this cycle, maybe this is a repetitive cycle for you, potentially, It could be about using this natural light within to guide you. Um, because as you can see here, she um, has this light here, but there's this light from her wings that is a natural glow when she flutters her wings. So maybe there's something in that because right now you're at a standstill and you're not fluttering your wings so the light is not shining maybe there's something in that moment to moment um trusting this is for me is right now this is trusting trusting the process um um <clears throat> some of you may not you know it's, it's really hard for you because you don't know what's to come you don't know you may not even know what the next step is you may be indecisive about which which step to take, okay, um, should I go this way, should I go that way type of thing, um, but I really do feel like, um, I'm seeing things in this card that I've never seen before, there's actually more options than what you realise, this here seems apparent that these steps are the only steps available, but you, can you see here, just vaguely, there's other stepping stones or other stepping blocks that could be taken if this guy would just open his eyes. So yeah, control. Yeah, see, I felt that before earlier that there was this not wanting to let go of the control um, and keeping everything in order. Again, this is about being flexible, okay, um, and... and 
because you have you may have a vision cancer about which way you're going to go but in fact maybe these stepping blocks which you're not um bringing into your visibility is the better way to go and um you're you know like nope this is the way we're going and this is how it is um so really 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 applying that flexibility for yourself okay bluebird spirit happiness very interesting I think that will, that's saying it will bring you a lot of happiness, but I also feel like, again, there's this focus, it's like this narrow focus, Cancer, um, this bird is focusing, it's like he's not seeing this beauty behind him here, he's not seeing that. There could be things that have happened in your life, Cancer, um, that you see as being really bad, but... There's also been lessons that you could learn. Um, yeah, because it's because this bluebird is sitting on this tree, like it looks like it's rotting. It looks like this tree has done its day, and so yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're sitting on something that's finished, um, that is done. And it's now time to start again. Potentially, and what you don't see is that this could be had in the background here, but you're still kind of focusing on this, which is not going to bring you the happiness that you desire. Existence. Existence. Receptivity. Let me just see what these are telling me here. How do I even put this? I don't even know. Um, oh gosh, I wish you could see what's in my head because it would just be so much easier. Let me just start with existence first. Cancer, there's, um, there's some kind of connection that needs to be made for you with um, the universe. Um, it, and it could very well be with your guides. It could be on a spiritual level. I feel as though, um, because this existence card, what this says is, is about um, understanding that there is no difference from the universe to us. This, this person's sitting on this leaf here um, and they're all the same. They're the same. The universe is outside of us, but it is also within us, okay? And it really is about accepting that so that you can grow. It's about this vibration cancer um, that you are putting out there, okay? Because sitting on this tree here puts out... It emits a vibration which is only going to attract more of this, okay? So it really is in order for you to be receptive um, to what it is that you want to create and to have that be successful, um, there's some changes that need to happen to your vibration, okay? And this connecting in with the universe is going to help you to connect in with those that can assist you from the other side, okay, with your guides, with your ancestors, with past loved ones, okay. This is also about becoming vulnerable and um, yeah, Sorry, I was just seeing if there was anything else, but I just keep getting connect. You need to connect in. And how do you do that, Cancer? You can meditate. You can go in, you know, you can at night time go up, you know, into the moonlight. Well, don't go into the moonlight. That was the wrong way to put it. But you know what I mean, right? Go and look at the moon. Look at the stars. 
really sense the universe around you and know that it is there to support you. Okay, we've got Standing Stones Passage. This is going to help you walk along your path. The path is going to be lit in, but right now it's it's um, it might seem like you're not sure which direction to go in, um, or you don't know again which you know it, it, it's it's taking this next step, Cancer. So I suppose for you the most important thing right now is to make this connection so that the next step is clear okay and really really let go of that control and become a lot more flexible which is really interesting cancer because i don't really see you as a controlling person but this could be not like you're being nasty or you know this big control freak but there's just something and it could be even controlling your emotions you may need to let them go because it could be that your emotions are emitting this vibration, which is not helping you move forward. Okay, totality. Yeah. Um, I feel like this flexibility again, just seeing this, which is super interesting. Um, but making that connection super, super, super strong here. Making that connection, right? Because I'll tell you why. Because I'm seeing these two here right and they're not quite connecting and this is what you need to do connect in okay um transformation you see this is going to help you rise up um and give you all the tools that you need in order to do that cancer okay bluebell fairy gratitude great way to raise this vibration and you can see again this connection being made okay gratitude raises this vibration and it helps to make this connection okay and this is super 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 i can't even stress how super important it is for you to do healing whatever it is that is not resolved that still needs to be healed cancer your hearts from heartbreak potentially for some of you um whatever healing that still needs to take place will help you to open your heart and become more receptive to receiving whatever it is you need to receive because you're closed off from receiving you won't yeah you are closed off from receiving And the thing is that you can't keep giving and juggling everything on your own unless you're willing to receive and allow people in to come and help you ease the burden. Okay, and there are people who will do that for you. Thunderbolt, this is so interesting. This has come up, I think, for every... Like, this is coming up so much lately. So much. I, this could very well be that something incredibly sudden happened. And um, this may be what this healing is about. You may still need to heal from this collapse in your world. Okay, by doing that healing cancer, you're going to be able to create a more solid foundation in order for you to grow um, this seed. Okay, because it's here ready to be planted. But it is about this solid foundation. Yeah finding being in the right environment for that to actually flourish and the last card here frog spirit renewal oh i really love this and we have that right that beginning at the beginning and the beginning at the end <laughs> so we're definitely in a new whole new cycle here for sure there's no doubt about that this here cancer is about looking at the very smallest minute things that do not seem important and you need to touch on those in order to see what um because you know look at this here this is like this box may have sat there for years and years and years and never was touched because everyone was looking at all the beauty of the forest here but until it was touched it was open and the jewel inside of it was revealed a little bit like the princess and the frog here yeah until she pays attention and touches the frog with love because the healing's done okay he turns into the prince um so yes definite renewal um 
that's yeah I feel like these things that seem insignificant are actually significant okay traveling see again some of you may be traveling okay um but this is also about your path okay and traveling along your path because I feel like the destination is not where you think it is and so this is this thing of needing to be flexible, the rebel. Break free. Break off these chains and let yourself go. Let yourself fly. Um, Cancer, this is not about being, you know, rebellious. This is about you giving yourself permission to stand in the power of who you truly are. Okay, and... For some of you, that's really scary. Um, but this is going to help you along the way to actually do that, okay? And this healing is definitely needs to be done, Cancer. Okay, I will leave that with you, Cancer. Take care of yourselves. See you. Bye-bye.